Lonnie's Gemini Part 2. Let the teardown begin. We got puppies. A daisy update, and we'll tell you what we're going to do tonight. Uh, just like you guessed from that intro, we're going to tear it down. Yeah, we gotta, we got to start taking things apart because uh, I think we're going to get it all the way down to the tunnel. we got some rust we got to deal with. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe yeah. get the tunnel sandblasted? Not tonight. Yeah, I got... Uh, Not tonight. <laughs> no, no, I got a, I got a couple of people that I can... Uh, hit up and see if they can if they can get it in that would be sweet um, yeah all right so uh hey don't forget to hit subscribe right streeter right at the beginning of the video <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. all right so uh we're gonna get after this thing all right let's clean some two all right, john okay what, what's going on with this strap well it's riveted is it screwed on the other side or is it all riveted that's rivets. Great. Well, we'll. Can you adjust it from inside the tunnel? I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna... Do you, you don't want to know what the strap's for? I assume it's to hold the seat on. It's a two up sled. That's the passenger no. grab strap. No way. That. Yep, she's a two up sled. What? Your was, TX is not. This was the... <laughs> and it's the same seat. Yeah. I thought this was the, the grab handle. Well, that's for your girlfriend. <laughs> it's better if you get your girlfriend to drive, though. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what All right. this looks like underneath. Boys are tearing into <laughs> it. Oh boy. Okay, we'll keep the camera rolling for this. We're bop, bop, we're bop. about to get the reveal. Woo. Oh, let's move this beer away from there. Pretty bad, huh? Eh, she's kind of scaly. She's got some holes back here. Yeah. Oh I think gosh. you're. Wood's we just we fine. need a new piece of wood for the seat. Lonnie, your wood's soft. It's just fine. Hey, now. <laughs> Speak for yourself. All right. So, uh, some, yeah. fully expected on a steel sled. On here. Fully expected, yeah. We're going to get a sheet of heavier gauge steel, maybe like 16, maybe even 14 gauge. And we're going to armor the top of that because right now Lonnie wants to run this thing with cleats. And uh, we don't want a cleat to come through that tunnel. Uh, so, no. Armor. <laughs> yes, We're going to armor please. the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, that would not make my day. <laughs> General teardown update. Uh, you can see where we are. Dennis is doing things. Lonnie's doing things. Brad's uh, drinking. Brad's here. Drinking about it. Welcome, Brad. Nice to be back. So, uh, let's see. Let's just give you a little walk around. Oh, Lonnie figured something out. Lonnie found this old TX free air recoil underneath the workbench. And he held it up and went, all the holes line up except for one tab right here by my thumb is missing. Like, Hell yeah. So this is going to be the recoil for this thing. There's only one problem. you got to show the prettiness of it. Oh, sorry. I have my hand over. There's only one problem. This is for a free air. And this is a fan cooled and it sucks all the air through there. So we got to go around and drill a whole bunch of like one inch holes all the way around the perimeter of that recoil. Easy, easy. Yeah. But there we go. We got the recoil figured out for, uh, what's your sled called? The uh, snake? The snake. The snake. The snake. It's funny we're calling it the snake when our sled racing team is uh, an animal related to the mongoose that we will, we will reveal that later. Later. <laughs> if you want to figure out what animal it is, you can Google. Um... Hi, Dennis. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, not bad. Oh, it's got oil. It's got oil. It's not Ooh, rusty. It's pretty thick, though. Look at uh, that. It's got Ew. some uh, sludge. Ew. But chain looks good. Tension's not bad. Uh, we'll take it. We'll use those parts. Hang on. Yeah. All huh. good. Oh, God. I thought something bit me. All right. Lonnie's working on dropping the skid out, and we've got this horrible feeling that everything in the skid is rusted solid. Did drop. Thank you. She's she's a little crusty looking. Um, all right. I need to... No. 
nine sixteenths. Yeah, you need the no, you need the half inch drive stuff from right here. Big one. Here you go. So uh, we've worked our way up from the three eighths drive electric to the half inch ah. electric. Now we're on the full blown half inch Ingersoll Rand air impact. I'm turning that shaft. You're turning, turning the shaft. I'm turning the shaft, yes. All right, we got a thread in the other side. Yes. That, that's one. That's one arm of the suspension we shouldn't have to rebuild. That'd the be other, awesome. the other one, however, there'll be yeah, there'll be bad. welding involved. Yeah. All right, we got all the bolts out. The front one was like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Um. You gonna yank your skid out there, Lon? Yep, yep. Oh, we'll be wow. fixing cleats. That's a given. We're always oh. fixing cleats. Hey, was there squirrels living in this too? I don't know. I think it's just been sitting in the woods. Just yard dirt. Yeah, I think it's just. All right. Well, throw her on the floor. Ooh, beauty. <laughs> Details will probably be right here for that. Let's we'll slit her down. Let's have a look at her. Um, she's rusty. He's very rusty. It's missing its rear shock. Yeah. It could have a shock in it. All right, set her down and jump on them shafts. Let's see if they're stuck or if they move. Okay, not bad. How about that rear one? You need to get on the shaft. That's the frame. Oh. Hang on, no, I'm. Oh. You're block, blocking me. All right. Yeah. That moves. A little bit, not much. Well, that's all the springs back there. She's free. All right, don't. There we go. All right. So I think we'll make this skid live. I don't know. She's pretty rusty. This might be going to the sandblaster with the chassis, don't you think? Yeah. Should, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. Well, we got our work cut out for us, but we know what to do. Yep. She's got snake skin. What do you got there? See, this is why she's called the snake. Because there's a snake skin in the skid. Snake skin in the skid. Look at that. It even left the pattern right on the, right on the skid. Ah, oh, don't worry. Sandblaster will take that <laughs> out. Yup. <laughs> there it is. What'd you dig out of there, Lonnie? Well, uh, the inside, uh, inside the track there, wrapped around the skid, was the uh, Grand Forked Herald. From uh, April twenty fourth, two thousand. <laughs> you know right, I'm twenty three years all right, old. Quit reminiscing. I got work to do here. <laughs> what, yeah, do you, what are you doing there, Nutter? Detailing. What? Oh my detailing. goodness! Hey, well, Cleaning here, up the place. Before you, before you finish up, look. We got we more got details. More. We got more for you. Hey, this is nice <laughs> being behind the camera. Look at Dennis is filming somebody else cleaning. What? And Daisy's helping. Yeah. Get in there, Daisy. Are you helping clean? She is helping, not help. You are helping, huh? You are uh, bite the <laughs> broom. Oh, she's doing the bite it. What's in my mouth? What's in her mouth? The broom. <laughs> That's my broom. Easy. Yeah, so this yeah, is my first look, look at this right. track. Easy. It makes it hard. At this, you oh, call that a track? Like I yeah. Bought, I mean, it's oh, I, from what I can see, all the cleats are here. Yeah. Um, and you're gonna leave it to you, Bonnie? I'm only gonna I'm only gonna mess with the ones that need to be, like that one there. That's yeah. gonna have to be worked on. That we'll one's gonna have to be worked on. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's no. No sense doing the whole damn thing if I don't have to. This is what puppies do. Right? Sorry, puppy cuteness. <laughs> she just stole the brew. No more cleaning the shop. Where are you taking it? All right, we're getting the track out. Lonnie's got the flange off, and we got to knock it over. And this is part of the test of if these drivers are good and bad. Uh, if I hit these drivers with this 2x4 and they break, they're junk. And most of these drivers are already junk. What you don't want to do is be super careful with your drivers. 
and not find out they're brittle and junk until you're 10 miles down the trail. That's a horrible idea. It's That's better, not a good idea. It's better to break them in the shop and buy some new drivers right away than to get 10 miles down the trail and have them shred. So here you go, Lon. You're going to film All me. All right, let's see what's bearing. happening. Let's see if I can knock this out of the out of the chain case. Here, film right on the bearing where I'm going to... All right, let's see what's happening. Moving? Uh, I didn't well, see any movement. See. didn't seem like it was moving. There it came, yo. Oh, yeah. No, over here. Okay, we're still in here, so I gotta go dip for it. No, I don't seem to want to go anymore. Not further. moving anymore. All right, I think maybe we'll take the chain case off at this point then. All right. So, uh, and the drivers didn't shatter. But Yay! We will tap on them some more once they're out because. Well, we gotta do the we, concrete test. Yeah, we're going to do the drop. Yep. So don't return them yet. No. Yeah, don't return those new drivers <laughs> yet, Lonnie. <laughs> All right, getting the chain case out not a big deal. We did four bolts. It's like four carriage bolts. And oh, we got to get that break off there, right? You might have to press the carriage bolts in, the top one especially. Okay. And uh, oh, yeah, right. we might have to cut the brake hose too. But yeah, we're going to have to press those in and then rotate. Yeah. All right. So, or not. Is that one stuck? Yeah. Hammer. All right. Start with the little guy. Nope. No dice? No dice. All right. Let's take this bolt loose as far as it goes. Oh, that's what's holding it. That's your, uh, that bolt is how you adjust your belt center there. I just keep, keep taking the bolt loose and I think it might come out. Or is that actually a carriage bolt or is it welded in? Well, that's a carriage bolt. It's, oh. just, it's just stuck in there. Well, knocker. Loosen that one that you were loosening a little bit more. You got... that, I don't think that's a carriage bolt, Lonnie. I'm looking right at it. It is? Yeah, I can see it right there. Huh. Well, that's she pretty. Just doesn't want to come through there. That's pretty stuck. Yeah, loosen that other one a little more. It won't hurt. That one's out down there. You got the brake fitting. You're kind of trapped. You got it. It'll come now. Almost. Dang it. I think that thing's welded. I think we're kind of. Can we bend this over? No. I think it's welded to it though. So. Oh, okay. You mean this that bolt? I don't think that bolt is welded. Well, you're definitely oh, can't you're that. definitely bending the bracket. Yeah, I can see that now. I just you're can't. just right there. It's got to go. All those wiring's back there is the problem. Oh, uh, it's the brake hose and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that brake hose is not helping. There you go. Give her. Give her. Ah! There you go. There we go. All right. There we go. So that's how you remove a Colt slash Gemini chain case <laughs> and screw up the threads pretty good, but we got to... It is tacked. Yeah, is I it thought it was. Right yes. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Don't beat on that thing like we did. That was uh, not the best idea. You don't think that's factory? Yeah, I'm sure it's Boy, factory. That's never been out. I'm sure that's factory. Why would they tack that? They would tack that because it makes a solid adjustment for your belt center there. That's what oh, was going this on. One. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. So, uh, no biggie. We have the tools and technology to repair this. All right. So, this is a pretty much standard operating procedure when it gets to this point where we got to cut that. We Cut that bearing loose. Well, we could, we could um, struggle with set screws for like five hours. Oh, man. Or we could just this cut it off. Sitting, sitting really bad, though. Let me get it back in the hole on the other side so I'm not cutting into the tunnel. I can hold it, too, if you want. Yeah, like I have a hole out of tunnel there to cut into. <laughs> yeah, Brad, you want to just hold it up right here? If you just hold that right there, it's it's caught on the track. Well, that's what's going on. We can put it a lot, yeah, we can jam it a lot further this way. Okay. There we go. Now we got it out far enough that we won't cut up the tunnel, hopefully. All right, 
one spot. He turned it already. All right. Well, it didn't get through, it just turned. All right. You get chunks falling off. This is good. This is a good thing, right? All right. Get the drive shaft out. And now, just like that. Now the point here, give me a second. The point here is now we can work on this on the press, on the vise, on the bench, on whatever. Now we're not messing with these stupid set screws while it's inside the tunnel. It's way easier this yeah, way. Yeah, way easier. You should take your track out while you got it videoing. Yep. All right, Lonnie. All right, get up. Ooh, All right let's later. take a look at those. Here, Lonnie, you, you gonna do the test? All right. Drop or square, don't damage the splines. I but, like it. Those are good drivers. He bounces really good. Or... Yeah. Yup. Those are good drivers. If you have a Colt, if you have an older Colt, and you're watching this because a Gemini and a Colt are the same, like a 72, 73 Colt, and your drivers have never been replaced, they aren't going to bounce like that. They're going to shatter into a hundred pieces. These are good drivers. These are really good. And if you're worried about us bashing on them and beating them, once again, if your drivers break from that, they were going to break on the trail. Better to find out right now. Huh? All right, Lonnie. All right. What are you thinking on the track there? Well, I'm not finding any... Not finding any tear. She got a little bit of weather cracking on that part that was sticking out the back there. But uh, looks like you got a lot of work on a lot I of. Got a lot of cleats that got to be worked on though. A lot of bent and worn cleats. No crack cleats. No, I, no, nope. I didn't find any cracks yeah, yet. That's already been riveted once. Oh yeah. Somebody so how, how many uh, how many rivets per cleat, Lonnie? Uh, what am I seeing here? Uh, Three, four, five, six, eight, about 12. 12 times 35, so that's uh, <laughs> another uh, 350 plus 70. So you got about 420 rivets to do on this track, Lonnie. That's all? Only about 420. Or twenty. Better smoke about that. I like that. Yeah, I don't do that, but uh, maybe I somebody know. does. I have Probably no should. idea. You want to after you do that, many yes. to relieve the arthritis you'll get doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll we'll refurb that track. Yeah, for everything that I can see on here, as it far as the, the track itself, I mean, even these uh, what do they call these? The lugs. Yeah, rubber lugs. Yeah, yeah the lugs all look good. Like actually, they all look really good. So what about the cat spas that go in between on the cleats? Have you ever ran those? Yeah, they're great if you can find them. Oh, they're not available no more. They quit making them years ago. I suppose it's been thirty years. Yeah. All right, so we will be refurbing the track, but don't worry, we won't even make you watch a fast-forwarded version. <laughs> we'll maybe we'll maybe show one cleats worth at the most because. The only thing more boring than replacing cleats is watching someone stud a track. And we're not doing that on this channel. We do stud tracks, but we're not doing it on the channel. All right. Uh, time to get the arms off the spindles. This is what I usually try to do. Just take a little piece of brass and you know what? I'm doing this with the springs in place. So that there's somewhere for this to spring to. It ain't moving, is it? It is not moving. Hmm. Usually, that works great, and it goes right in. Get the really big hammer. We got the really big hammer. Let's use the big guy. The BFH. That oh, moved that it. that moved it. <laughs> there we go. All right. With the BFH, man. All right. Now, if we still had the bumper, we'd lift up on the front end. Yeah, but, but we don't. We don't. So, we go from the BFH to the BFPB. Pry bar. 
<laughs> Almost. There we go. Yeah. Woo. You're next, hey. buddy. My turn. <laughs> Let's see if I can mess this up. All right. Whapper. All right, Lon. Yeah, man. We got her ripped down. Uh, she's ripped down about as far as it can go. We can still get that belt off. A couple bolts here and there, but uh, yeah. puppy approved. Yep. I'm going to flip her over. Yeah, flip her up. Ah, ah. Hey, your foot guard's kind of loose. We unbolted it with the bumper. Yeah, we got to drill those rivets off to get the belt off. Yep. Well, we'll come back and do that, but uh, I don't know. Try and... Uh... Try and straighten that out a little bit. Yeah, that'd be a really good idea. Doesn't really matter, but why not? She's actually still pretty solid right here. I think it's really solid everywhere except at the very, very back, yeah, of, the back of the tunnel. But uh, like I said, we're going to armor that whole tunnel since you're running cleats. Right on. Just crazy to not, you know? Yeah, yeah, I like the idea. I definitely don't do not want a cleat in the crotch. Or, or worse. Or, or anywhere else. All right, what do you got going on over here? Well, the front uh, front torque arm, or whatever you call it, the front suspension arm, It's that shaft wasn't seized, and it's coming out. We're just stripping stuff, getting it ready to sandblast. Coming right out. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> that makes me happy. That's just a bolt I put in so we wouldn't screw up the threads. But... Uh, that makes me real happy. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> She's a little, uh, got a little bit of dust on her. That's fine. It'll work. So yeah, so we got, uh, we got one ski already all torn down. I'm got having the, at the skid. Lee Springs tore apart here so we can get them sandblasted. We are going to replace these with forged spindles. Um, we have the, uh, the skid completely torn down. Uh, this that is, one. That one I think is stuck. We're going to find out, aren't we? Uh, yeah. I don't even see how these springs come out. Oh, that's bolted on. Well, look at that. It looks like we can get those springs out somehow. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yes, we'll find out. I haven't spent a lot of time working <laughs> on cold skids in the past. We're, we'll, we'll bring you back for the journey. Yeah. All right, these slides are super flipping stuck, like glued. Like there's actually slides though. Yeah, they're not totally gone, but they're probably brittle and gonna break when we try to use them. So I got the air chisel out and uh, we're seeing if we can break them free. I did the other side already, nothing but. Nothing moved. I mean, we definitely broke it loose on these edges, but in the slot in there, nothing moved. Oof. <laughs> this is going to be very difficult, Lonnie. It's going to be interesting. We may have to just throw this bastard in a campfire. Oh. I think, uh, I think we need to have a campfire. Yep, we're going to try that, that stuck aluminum shaft here. Uh, same thing. We'll throw that in the campfire too, see if the fire gets hot enough to melt aluminum. It should. Personally, I've never done it, but I've heard it works, so give it a try. Guess we're gonna try. All right, well, we- We, <laughs> we did some destruction. We dismembered some things. <laughs> um, she's close, she's basically stripped down to go to the sandblaster. We got to figure out who's going to sandblast it yet, yeah. but uh, I think we both agree sandblasting is in order here. Uh, yeah, it's, for it, sure. It's a little beyond just a rattle can. Yep. So uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you are into Players Colts or Gemini's or Apollo's or any of those small sleds, stick around because I'm going to show you how to rebuild those brakes, uh, change chain case bearings. It's all different than the indie stuff we've been working on. Oh yeah, way different. So uh, that'll be an upcoming episode and we're going to keep working away on this thing. And uh, I don't know. It won't be an episode of the track. It'll be like a minute of the track. 
Nobody wants to watch you rebuild a track. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> we could make a four-hour track extravaganza. <laughs> no. But uh, I won't get very far in four hours. No. <laughs> So, uh, huge thanks to the patrons. You Thank guys you. are the best. Everybody yeah. else that's wondering what the patron is, Patreon is. There's a link in the description. And the Patreon is a place where I release the videos first. And also, the pa the patrons uh, get to watch the videos ad-free. It does cost money. It's five or ten bucks a month, depending on what plan you choose. But uh, they, get first, they get to see the videos first, they get ad-free, and they also get patron-only videos that are usually, like, behind-the-scene type videos that we don't put on YouTube. Yeah. So, if you want to see that, well, you're probably going to want to join the Patreon then. There you go. And uh, Otherwise, oh. hit subscribe. Yes. Hit that notification so you actually know when a new video comes out. Make sure you're subscribed because people yeah. have been saying YouTube's been unsubscribing them unexpectedly. So double check that too. If you think this is the first video we've done in a long time, uh, you might have been unsubscribed. Yeah, you might have been unsubscribed. <laughs> so uh, you got to hit subscribe and get the notifications to know when we're doing a new video. Yeah. So thanks again, patrons. Thanks everybody else. And thanks everybody. We'll see you on swap meets. See you at the swaps.